Hi, YouTube. Maybe I can keep my glasses on, right? Looks good still. Um, so, hi. Welcome to the Art World Lounge with me, Amanya. Today's video is about jam. Fruit jam. One fruit in particular, it's the pomegranate. So, I am making pomegranate jam spread, whatever you want to call it. Um, today so easy breezy nothing to it we need a couple of things we need pactin which is going to combine it all together we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get the seeds out we're gonna blend it up cook it pactin it boil up our bottles or our jars that we're gonna put it in and so yeah, we're making our own jelly, our own jam, our own pomegranate jam. Okay, so you want to learn how to do it? Stay tuned, watch the video. Thanks for joining. Hello, new subscribers. I'm super, super psyched because I have 103 subscribers. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, I'm, oh my God, 103. I'm really souped up. I want more, I want more, I want more. But I'm so grateful for the thir for, for the 103 that I have. So thank you guys for joining. Thanks for watching. And please comment. Um, let me know what y'all think about the videos. Um, again, I really enjoy making them. So thanks again for your support. Supporting the Art War Lounge. Supporting me, Amanya, and my ventures here on YouTube and online entrepreneurship. Thank you guys, bye. Okay, so here I am in the kitchen and here's what we're gonna be using. This is our fruit pactin. Um, this came from Walmart and I'm going, and it wasn't much, less than $4, $3.50 I think. It comes with two. Matter of fact, I don't even think I'm going to need this much for, I'm only using two, 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 two pomegranates, two pomegranates. <laughs> so you have to, we're going to start with the pomegranates. So going to just mush them down so they can start to detach, right? On the inside. I'm not looking to juice them right now just detaching them from their skin oh all right so that's what we're going to be using here is our jars aren't these the cutest thing i picked these up at Target yesterday aren't they the cutest jars so I could use these for like for my makeup DIY stuff that I do, like when I make my my whipped butters and whipped hair stuff. These jars are super cute, right? But I don't think I'm gonna use no more than one because these guys shouldn't make too much after that's been cooked down. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd show y'all what I did before. Here is our second pomegranate. And um, so now I'm just gonna cut. I don't wanna lose any of the juices because I lost some before. I'm gonna just split it. And this is just to make the peeling process a little bit easier. I'm just gonna just take that lid off. Okay, how pretty is she? Okay, so then we're gonna just squeeze it all out. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Get all the juices out. So I just wanted y'all to see that. So I'm going to make sure we clean out all of the pulp. Okay, all this comes out. Mm. Oh my God, it's so juicy. Okay, this is garbage. And make sure we take all of that little bitty bitties out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here is our beautiful pomegranate and its juices. So now I'm going to blend it all up in my ninja bullet here. So everything's going in. Just don't want to mess on my hands. Okay. Okay. So it's all in. All righty. It cooked down. And, um, and of course, clean this out and get all the remaining fruit out of there. And now I'm going to be using our sugar. I'm going to pour that in. We're just putting in everything. No need to separate or do anything like that and then this with our nutmeg we're just putting a little bit just gonna eyeball it no no real um measurements here just a little put that in gonna put our cinnamon The only thing that we're not going to put in now is our pactin. We'll wait until this cooks up. Some vanilla. Then I'm going to grind up our zest. Our lime I mean we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of this juice in here okay can you see that I think I'll take the camera over in a little bit okay so now we're gonna let that cook I'm gonna just pick this guy up, bring you over. Here it is. I'm gonna lower the flame. Leave it, actually I'm gonna leave it on high for about one or two minutes so it can really get hot. And our pot is also boiling over here, which I'm going to put our jars to cook those up. Okay, so there it is. Putting our jars in.
Okay, so here is our oh, there it is. It's going to get its solidness from sitting in the jars. So I just had a brilliant idea. I'm going to make one regular and one vodka infused. Hold on, let me get the vodka. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it right on in. This is our regular. Yum, that is, ooh, ooh wee. And this one is going to be our vodka infused. So we're gonna put a little bit, and then, I'm gonna put some of this guy. Look at that, perfect, hmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to close these guys up and then I'm going to put them back into the boiling water that's going to lock and seal everything. To be honest, I probably don't even need to do that because this isn't going to last me that long. And I'm not giving it any to anyone. It's just for me. Actually, it may last me a long time, so I will do that. Okay, so that is pretty much our finished product. Vodka there, regular there, and our lids. Cover them back up. Lid them. Tight. Ugh. 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 So I'm going to find something to mark this guy. So I don't get confused by the two. So there you have it, folks. Pomegranate jam, regular pomegranate jam, vodka. Thank you guys for watching. 